Welcome to Be Less Stupid, the show for liberal politics, science, fact, and funny. I'm the host, John Hotchkiss. Let's get right to it. For this episode, I checked into the Trump Hotel in Las Vegas to conduct an investigation to find out precisely how close the Trump Tower Hotel is from the world's largest sex bike, which can be found at a sex museum right next door on the very same block as Trump's hotel. And it's just 200 feet or so from the hotel entrance. Okay, look, that wasn't the only reason. One of Donald Trump's most frequently made promises to his base during the 2016 election was that when it came to jobs, the economy, and trade, he was going to be America first. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. As President of the United States, I will always put America first. I will always put America first. This pledge resonated with many of his voters, many of whom can't count past one. That's a joke, sort of. On his road to the White House, Trump was promising to make American goods his number one priority. He was promising to make the jobs of American workers his number one priority. So, I wanted to know if that's how Donald Trump really felt. How he felt when he wasn't president of the US. I wanted to know how he felt about American workers and American goods when he was just a con man real estate developer building a hotel in Las Vegas. Which, by the way, has no casino. Seriously, Trump could not get a casino license in Las Vegas. It's a thing that they give to the mafia. And the people in Vegas said Donald Trump was an even more immoral criminal than the Godfather. You know, when we came into Vegas, it was a totally new concept. It was totally different to go in there with the notion of, you know, a hotel that didn't have a casino, something that was, you know, very different. Travel and Leisure just gave us the best hotel in Las Vegas. And I think if we had a casino in it, we couldn't have gotten that award. We wanted a non-casino hotel because we were really striving for the ultimate in luxury. So, I went to Trump's Las Vegas hotel and I checked all the things in the hotel room to see where they were made. If Donald Trump cared about America, surely we'd see Made in America on all the equipment, the furniture, and the amenities. So now, the results of my exclusive investigation. Earlier this month, I checked into the Trump Hotel Las Vegas. I stayed in a mini suite on a high floor. The unit is actually pretty large. There's a main room with a small kitchen, an eating area, a tiny bathroom, a sofa that pulls out into a bed, along with a TV and a coffee table. The other room has a king-size bed and a very spacious bathroom with both a shower and a tub, as well as two sinks. I presume one is for when you're putting your fake orange bronzer tan on, and then there's a second sink for when you're taking your fake orange bronze tanzer off. Most items in the room had a tag or were engraved with the country of origin details. That said, there were also many items that had no tag at all. For instance, the coffee table, the sofa, the kitchen table, and the lamps. All right, so let's begin in the bathroom. The washcloths, the hair, and the full body towels, they're made in Colombia. The scale, it's from China. The garbage pail, yep, China too. The tissue box, also from China. The light up hand mirror, Woohoo! China as well. And the hair conditioner? Well, that's from Canada. Okay, now let's check the bedroom. The sheets? Yep, they are made in China. The bathrobe? No surprise here, from China as well. The pillowcases are from Italy. Okay, now the front room. The telephone? It is from China. The toaster? It's from China too. The microwave? Actually, that one's from Korea. The coffee maker, that is also made in China. The sink, actually that one's from Malaysia. And the soap, it's from Canada. The ice bucket though, that's from China. In fact, one of the only things in the room that was actually made in America was me. After I checked the items in Trump's hotel room, I went down to the lobby to check the items 
in the Trump brand gift shop. And well, if you were rooting for Trump, uh, that didn't go much better. Trump brand jackets, they're made in China. Trump brand pullover, also China. Trump brand golf shirts, actually those are from Vietnam. This Trump hat, it was made in Bangladesh. This other Trump hat, it's from China. Oh, but wait, there is still more. All the steel used in the construction of Trump Tower? Nope, not American steel. It's from China too. And the marble and the furniture in the lobby? American craftsmanship? Nope, it's from Italy and Turkey. And that is not all. In a promotional video for Trump Tower Hotel, Donald Trump said that his hotel was the tallest in Las Vegas. We've gotten so many awards for architecture, for service, for every aspect of the building. And Trump International is the tallest building in Las Vegas. No surprise, that is a lie too. Trump's hotel is 623 feet, and the Palazzo Hotel in Las Vegas is 642 feet. Okay, that's it for this episode of Be Less Stupid. If you like what you saw, please share it on social media. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button and remember to hit the bell so that you get notified when new episodes premiere. For Be Less Stupid, I'm the host, John Hotchkiss. I'll see you next time.